Hey guys, this is Heather from HealthyVeganRecipes.net. So today we're going to make something fun, cauliflower mashed potatoes. This is an idea that I've seen in a few places now and what happens is you make the cauliflower into a texture like mashed potatoes so that you get the deliciousness for those of you who love mashed potatoes. I'm not a huge fan myself, but Phil loves them. I've made this for Phil a few times and he loves it. He says the texture is fantastic and the flavors are great too. So um, the idea is that you're using cauliflower, which has a ton of nutrients and benefits. And I'm going to mix the cauliflower with some red lentils so that we get the good texture like mashed potatoes. But you're not using potatoes, which are fairly high in the glycemic index for those who, uh, who worry about blood sugar fluctuations. This is a great alternative. And it also, um, you know, you get the boost of nutrients from the cauliflower and you also get some extra protein from the red lentils. So it's a really great recipe just to have anytime, even if uh, you're not replacing mashed potatoes with it. It's just a fun way to have cauliflower in a different kind of way. So I'll post the recipe over at Healthy Vegan Recipes for you guys, but those who want to watch how it's done, stay tuned and I'll show you that right now. So I've got some water boiling in a pot here and I'm just going to add some red lentils, which are split in half so they do cook fairly quickly. Just put them in the boiling water, don't add any salt yet, otherwise those lentils will not cook very well. And then you can chop up your cauliflower. Make sure you boil with a lid on so that the water doesn't all evaporate. And then once your lentils have cooked for a couple minutes there, then you can put the cauliflower in. You don't have to worry too much about how you chop it up because it's going to get blended up anyway. And um, you can also put it in raw if you like, but if you cook it just a little bit, it will soften the texture so it makes for a softer pureed mashed potato-like texture. If you do it raw, it might be a little bit chunky. That's all. So once the cauliflower has softened up a little bit, the red lentils should be super soft. Then all you gotta do is puree and season these guys. And I'm using a food processor, but you can also use a blender. Just that a blender is difficult to keep it thick. So if you want some really thick ones, then you probably want to go with a food processor. So scoop all of that out in there. And now you can add some salt. And I'm also going to add some fresh garlic. I like it fresh, so I'm just going to press it to make sure I don't get any big chunks of raw garlic. Not a fan, some of you maybe. Um, if you're not a fan of raw garlic at all, you can also roast this. Just leave it in the skin for each bulb, uh, clove rather, and put it into an oven or a toaster oven or something, and you can just roast it a little to soften the garlic flavor. I'm also going to throw in some green onion, just because I can. I really like green onion. Adds some nice flavor. I'm also going to throw in some nutritional yeast, which is optional, just for flavor. I just like the, uh, the rich, salty kind of flavor it brings. And another optional, I really like paprika in here. I know it's not your typical mashed potato kind of seasoning, but hey. Go with what tastes good to you. I also like cumin in here. It has a nice roasty kind of flavor. And to thicken it up, I'm going to use some sunflower seed butter. You could also use almond butter. Um, something with a neutral flavor though. Um, peanut butter would probably not be the greatest. Unless you want to have peanut butter flavored mashed potatoes. That's, you know, if that's your thing, go for it. And then just blend this all up until it's really nice and smooth. Okay, then once you get it smooth, you want to give it a taste for flavor. And you can add more or less water depending on how thick you want them. Mm, perfect. The great thing about this recipe is that I love it, and I don't even like mashed potatoes, 
and Phil loves it and he loves mashed potatoes so it's good for both of us and uh, you can top this off with some mushroom gravy you can put it uh, with a salad <clears throat> anything that you would do with mashed potatoes you can do with this recipe easy quick healthy and delicious hope you guys enjoy it again you can find the recipe over at healthyveganrecipes.net and I'll see you guys next time